Hi everyone, Erin Dawkins here. I'm an ambassador for the Detroit Free Press Marathon. This week we received news that the marathon will continue as virtual or you can defer your race to an upcoming year. As a member of our running community, I've been seeing a lot of disappointment surrounding the cancellation of races all year. Training plans are taking a detour. Motivation is low. There are feelings of sadness and emptiness because there's nothing to train for. The uncertainty surrounding the pandemic makes us feel like our lives are anything but normal right now. I'm here to tell you that there are many things you can do to keep your motivation up. One thing I've learned during this pandemic is that running is not canceled. It's so important. During the months of the lockdown in March through May, I ran every day. I remember running outside and thinking to myself, I'm so grateful I could still get out here and run. When everything else is shut down, I still get to be out here doing what I love. So what else can you do right now? Gyms are closed. So one thing I started to do was focus more on strength training at home. And I even started incorporating more yoga into my weekly routines. When I ran the full marathon in 2018 with the Detroit Free Press, I developed an injury on my left knee. I was never doing enough strength training. I was never even doing stretching. One thing I learned when I was homeschooling my kids is routine is everything. Develop a routine that incorporates something new. It will help you to become a stronger runner in the end. Use this time to your advantage. In terms of cross training, another activity I never did outside was cycling. I, get, I was gifted a bike in the spring and I was so grateful because on my days that I wasn't running, I would get out and bike. Uh, this was a great time not only to work on cross training, but also to spend time with my family. Uh, my Garmin. <laughs> Uh, anyone who wears a Garmin knows that the metrics can be amazing and they can also be frustrating. The pandemic has made the Garmin my biggest competitor. There's nothing more frustrating than returning from a seven mile run and to see that my status is unproductive. So I took this time to study metrics. I learned what I needed to work on in terms of oxygen and recovery. And I developed a plan that has been a huge benefit to me and it's actually keeps me very motivated. Um, anyone else missing group runs? I know I am. Uh, this year I was registered to run with a relay team and we haven't even had the chance to get together. Um, without the ability to gather, I've been relying heavily on my fellow runners through social media to help keep me motivated. They share their struggles, they share their tips, and at a time when it's easy to feel really isolated, you still have that community feel. And I love that. I've seen other runners participate in virtual fundraisers or set a monthly goal uh, with miles and that helps too. When we take a step back as runners, I feel like during this time, it's, it's great to focus on what we can control. For many of us, it seems like an impossible situation, but let's make the best of it. Let's look forward to the future of races. I plan on running my first virtual race with the Detroit Free Press Marathon in the fall. I'm not sure what that's gonna look like. I'm not sure what to expect, but I'm just excited that I get to participate and I'm excited to engage the community around me to do the same. And for those of you who aren't into virtual races or it doesn't work for you, I look forward to seeing you at the start line in 2021. We will get through this. Stay happy and stay healthy and keep running.